Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's here, Way of the Witcher, reveal time. Um, so excited. Uh, this expansion is going to be awesome. We went from having like just a couple Witchers in a game to a whole expansion. <laughs> They're popping up out of the woods, man. Little kid Witchers. We got old Witcher. <laughs> They're everywhere, man. They're everywhere. I love it. I'm excited. Um, before we get into the reveal and anything, you know, it's just I, I just want to say thank you to you guys, all the people that have been uh, with me from day one. I've been playing Gwent for almost four years, man. It's crazy to think I've been uh, doing videos for this for that long. And um, my love for the game has only grown, and it's mostly because of you guys, man. Um, just the constant uh, love and support, comments, and everything. You know, you guys are great. Uh, if you're new to the channel, maybe hit the subscribe button. Help the devil out. We appreciate it. But um, also to you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to CDPR for letting me reveal a card. Um, you guys have been the absolute best to me, man. Um, from the other cards that you've let me reveal, um, putting me in the original arena trailer, man. Uh, the, the Christmas cards that I get, man. I, I just, I, I just want to say that from the bottom of my heart, man. I just, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. There's no company out there that. Uh, can even come close to comparing to Gwent and CDPR, man. They just, they treat everybody good. They treat people how you treat them, man. If you treat Gwent good, they're going to love you to pieces, man. Absolutely love you, man. And I, I just, it's so many people that I've, you know, from CDPR that, uh, you know, talked to over the years, man, they're just, they're just so personable, so nice. And um, I just want to say, you know, Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Thank you. Um, so the card reveal now. Um, I got a preview of this card from Ryan Godric um, a couple days ago. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, sweet. I'm going to reveal a monster card. And he's like, no, man. It's a Nilfgaard card. I'm like, a Nilfgaard card that looks like this. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, <laughs> um, I got the uh, actual text and the strength and everything. And I'm like whoa <laughs> what is this what is this um you guys are gonna be like it's a it's a whole new archetype man it really is um this card has uh carryover potential graveyard hate um just so many different things on it but it has a huge downside that you have to be aware of um you could combat it a little bit with another card but um this card is going to be it, it's going to be a fun it, it's going to be a fun card and if if you're a Skellige card you got to deal with this card real quick because they are going to be it's going to be all over you all over you um, let's uh, let's get the drum roll you know going here um, here it is man uh, Nilfgaard the Viper uh, the Viper is 7 strength, 2 armor, 9 provisions. Get ready for this description, okay? Story time. Uh, at the end of the round, put this card in the opponent's graveyard. At the end of your turn, while in the graveyard, banish the lowest cost card from it. If Viper is the only card in the graveyard, give it doomed and then summon it to your opponent's row. It says summon from your opponent's row because it's in your opponent's graveyard and they're going to be the ones reading this. Like, what does this card do? So, say you go into a round, you play five cards. There's five cards in your opponent's graveyard. You played this on a carryover play. You got to look at this card as like a Gabor. You play the round, you go through it, you play this card to win the round. It jumps in their graveyard and uh, it starts hungry hungry hippo in on all their cards from lowest provisions to highest if they play lamp gin that's a zero provision card is going to start with that first um, downside to this card if they kill it on your side it goes into your graveyard and it starts eating your stuff <laughs> you can stop it with a seer you play a seer put it back into your deck 
you can play it again, maybe as a carryover play for the next round. Um, granted, you're kind of telegraphing what you're doing the, you know, next. Um, it could come back into the play of field. You could purify it, and if they don't deal with it, it jumps back into their graveyard and, and keeps doing it. Um, cards you're going to want to pair with this. Um, a seer is one of them because if it get, does get killed, you're going to start losing all your stuff and you're going to be super sad. Uh, experimental remedy. Say they play, you know, like two bronze cards. You grab the best one, play it. The viper eats the other one. Then it starts nomming on it, whatever golds they played. Um, it's it's going to be. <laughs> it's going to get ugly real quick, man. Um, other cards that work with it, uh, Coded Weapons, because you're ban you're um, not killing it, you're banishing it, so that card's going to just go to the deck, not into the graveyard, so that it, it allows your Viper to keep eating in the graveyard. Um, other other cards that counter it, Hjalmar, of course, uh, goes into the graveyard, Hallmark, and just chuck it your way for seven damage um, i doubt you'll see it but xavier lemons <laughs> uh, he would get rid of it and banish it if you're in the mirror your opponent can put a seer and put the card back into their deck so that it doesn't um you know keep eating their stuff uh Morn tart if they're a Morn tart friend um they could play it granted like i said i think you're going to want to play this in like round one maybe round two is a like dry pass play but um Keeping it, like, if they have a bunch of stuff, the counters for it are going to be, like, Lippy. Um, Lippy's going to be able to put it back in the, into the deck. Um, you might eat a couple Shield Maidens and something like that, but for the most part, they're just going to chuck it back into the graveyard and um, or into their deck, and you're not going to be able to do anything with it. Um, and then, like, Swarmy stuff, you know, um, Blue Stripe Commandos. You might eat a couple Blue Stripes, um, but... For the most part, you know, I mean, granted, you're getting carryover off of them, but it might never pop out of the graveyard. That's the thing. If they're a big swarmy list where they're playing, you know, thinning 19 cards and it might never come out. Um, like I said, you're trying to like play it on a round where you're just, you want to make sure it lives. One, because <laughs> if it goes into your deck, you better have a seer because you're going to start losing a bunch of stuff. Um, but. There it is, man. Something totally different. A banished graveyard hate carryover play for Nilfgaard. The sun is rising. Get ready. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the reveal. Once again, CDPR, thank you. You guys, thank you. And we'll see you here real soon with some uh, Way of the Witcher expansion uh, real, real soon. Thank you. We'll see you next time.